Hey guys, it's Jasmine and today I'm here to talk about how to make friends or maybe actually how not to make friends because I'm talking about it. So, I'm talking about my experience on how I have made friends because loads of people seem to think that I have a quite extravagant life when my life is summed up with about five friends, about three of which I actually hang out with outside of school. Okay, so first off, you're gonna want to start off by striking some sort of conversation, obviously. Now, this step is the hardest step if you have the disease called socially awkward, like me. Obviously, if there's nothing to talk about, then you might want to have to wait for the right time, and maybe they have the same interest as you, which you could casually bring that up in discussion. Maybe you like some of their clothing, then you casually have to tell them that you like it, and then that could start up some conversation. Maybe they're more social than you, and if not, then it could go a little bit awkward. Okay, so say you like reading. This is an example because I like reading. Um, and you read loads, then, I don't know, maybe your friend reads loads and they have like the Amazing Book is Not on Fire, or This Book Loves You, or Shadow and Bone, which I'm currently reading, and I think that is freaking brilliant. But maybe you see them reading a book, and if you haven't read it, then you go up and you're casually like, what you reading? I like reading. Maybe not. Maybe that's creepy. Maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Maybe if you know that they like video games, you casually bring that up in conversation. Another way is to let them come to you, which is always harder. Especially if they're feeling the same way as you and they are too afraid to talk to you, which I'm just assuming some people are afraid like I am, but maybe that's the case and they're also afraid. So I don't know, maybe you'll just have to depend on yourself for this one. So funny story here, if you think that you're failing and that you're alone. Eh. So I am a very, very socially awkward, anxious person. And I have the hardest time talking to people unless they talk to me first and I just find it really hard to talk to girls especially. I don't know what it is but I have loads of things in common with guys but most of the girls I do not. <laughs> like a lot of them like sports and stuff and I like video games and books and but there's this one girl in my gym class and if you know me in person you might know the story. She liked bands and she liked video games, so one day I got the courage to ask for her cell phone number because everyone knows that texting is a lot easier than talking in person. I went up and I finally asked her and my face was all red and then she's just like, yeah, I don't have a cell phone. Oh my gosh, spent all that time, all those days wanting to ask her and then she either didn't have one or she just didn't want to tell me it. If you think you're failing at trying to make friends, then you are not alone. Okay, while making friends, there are also some things that you should probably look out for if you don't want to befriend the wrong people or get caught doing some really sketchy stuff. So the first type of people that you want to look out for are users. You can catch them in the early stages of friendship or even before you could become friends if you're in some sort of situation where maybe you have something and they ask for it or they already ask you for a favor but you're not really close yet then you might know that they're gonna use you in the future and keep in mind I'm just speaking from experience I'm not a bloody genius or anything so maybe don't take my advice like I said multiple times this video is mainly sarcastic and quite ironic the next thing I want to talk about are posers okay this might it could be bad if you don't like fake people there may be a person that has been trying to befriend you and maybe they're just trying to get to know you and then they start liking the things that you like there's no way to really know that they're actually just faking and maybe it's you might think that it's a good thing that someone's trying to you know be like you because they want to befriend you but it could also be quite annoying if they're not being who they are and maybe if you're trying to have a conversation about like The Legend of Zelda and you're like, oh, do you like The Legend of Zelda? And you ask if they like Majora's Mask or the Twilight Princess better and they've got no bloody idea what you're talking about. So they just pick, say they pick 
Majora's Mask and you ask them why, they have no idea what it is, they've never played it. Posers. Could be good, could be bad, probably bad if you don't like people being fake or trying to copy you. And with that, the most important thing while making friends or trying to make friends is to remember to be yourself. If you take anything from this video, then I hope you take that. And everyone says this, but it's the most important thing because you don't want to be in the middle of a friendship or starting a friendship and then you have to like spend your whole friendship pretending to be someone you're not. Plus, if you're yourself, then you're gonna end up getting friends that are like you, which is always the best option. So the moral of the story is, though there are many people like you out there, you're the only version of yourself that there is and that there will ever be, and just remember that you're amazing. Unless after you die you reincarnate as something else and then you have like everything the same, but all of a sudden you're a squirrel. Okay, let's not talk about death right now. Other than that, I really wouldn't take any advice from someone who lives vicariously through video game characters, books, and people on the internet. If everything fails and you can't make friends in person, just remember that internet friends are great. I have internet friends that I tell everything to. Anyway, I do hope you liked the video. And if you did, remember to hit that cheeky subscribe button. It will get you... subscribed to my channel. Also hit the thumbs bu up button. And if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs up button to be ironic and dangerous. Oh god, never do that again. Okay guys, well... Hopefully I see you next time on my channel of whatever this is. I just realized that this video is also a way of letting you guys get to know me as a person and everything that I like and stand for, which is obviously just terrible advice on the internet and how bad I am at making friends.